Hello Pokemon Let's Play viewers, I am Pokemon Player and we have just battled the first gym and won. Now in my last episode I told you, you could go this way, train up your Pokemon a bit more for this gym, but we were slightly overpowered so we're just going to go do it now. Now my videos will be a bit longer because I'm going to try and fully do the routes all in one shot rather than just 15 minutes and try and do it quickly. First off, you can see there's an item there, but there was a prickly bush right in front of where I'm looking actually, which means we can't get to it until we have cut. Here is our first tra here is the first train of this route. Let's get into a battle with it. I think they're called Rising Stars, which is new. Yep, yeah, Rising Star Louise. Die, die. Oh, spray thing, dude. Damn. I want to see. Oh, he was level 11 as well. He's kind of who we need to train. Oh well. I'll use crackling. Go healing. Bug cutter. No, fury cutter. Now here is the fire type I was talking about, Litlia. He's basically a tiger cub, no not, a lion cub. Um, he's a normal fire, which means he is weak to fighting, water and rotten ground. Which isn't too bad. I mean, you get a psychic type, and you could block the fighting. You get a water type, you could block. No, get a grass type, you could block the water and ground rock resistance. Anyway, that was our battle with her over, and let's just get in over to the personal centre. Now, we, I tend not to be far-fetched again. Right, I don't think he evolves. So I really don't find a point. Yeah, that's where all my cool Pokemon are. Oh, another thing I've actually found out. Using Pokemon Bank, you could trade with yourself. So, say you finish the game, you could put 
any Pokemon you don't want to delete. Say you finish the game and you want all the starters, like moi, like moi. You could actually. There's another train of battle. That's basically showing you the item there. Anyway, you could put all your good Pokemon in the bank, restart the game, and retrieve them. So, actually, you could trade with yourself thanks to Pokemon Bank. Hmm. Oh yeah, it goes from there. I just realised I didn't need, I actually need to do this battle. But so what the hell? Well, it's actually very easy to avoid her. I think they, they battle you. He definitely does. I don't know, let's go check. No. Yeah, he's talking about XP switching. Apparently she's a fan of my mum. Yeah, your mum is Grace, the famous Rohan racer. Probably mentioned this. Now oh, I want to become a pro. No it. I don't think liquid works on this either. Well, that's all my Pokemon 12. As I've said in a few videos, try and keep all your Pokemon at the same level. Right, there's a schoolboy in there, I'm pretty sure you can battle. You can probably battle this girl here, which can also be avoided. This girl, we'll just tell you about it. But it's actually a really cool trick, let's see if I can do it. Oh no. Right, this is called Parallel Swizzle. But. Oh. Apparently, right, later on, you talk to a skater, she will tell you if you parallel swizzle or dash, which is that, over a ledge, you could actually backflip. Right, let's just battle this guy. As you saw, that item was a super potion. And you really can't get any further on in this route without HM moves in your party. Right, there was another item we need cut for. Uh, we need surf, strength. There's lots of items you can need.
I suggest not switching them to your good Pokemon. Maybe if you have a really powerful Pokemon. Stick him out front and teach him to all your other Pokemon. I know, something easy like that. You know, I'm gonna switch to Tree Smasher. I'm sorry for all these camera angles. Vine Whip. I've tried that. No, they do battle. You know what, let's just battle the other guy as well. It tends to be relatively easy. Especially at this stage. I'm just gonna go here and first. Yeah, hop over the ledges, shortcut, as she said. Try not to run into the tables or lamppost. Here you go, this is one of the camera changes I mentioned. Honestly, I'm not sure how it works. Probably like every tenth time. I'm just guessing. Five, six, five seems too much. All right, one more guy to battle, and I'll probably do some. Extra training off camera. Just get them all the same level, you know. Rabbi. I must admit, I am a fan of water fight. I mean, I won with a grass pipe once, ever, and that was in the original black and white. Unfortunately, that was one of the many games I I lost. Uh, I've won with uh, water, maybe fire, in part gold, but I've never been able to get past the first gym with the grass. No, not first. Well, yes, first, and second. I mean, it's a bug type gym. I mean, it does slime and bug. Grass is the best of them. Third gym is normal, which everyone hates. 
I mean, with me and her no time, it's just so annoying. No matter how much you turn your phone tomorrow, they will demolish you. Unless you can find a fighting type move, I don't, I think you're screwed. Anyway, we've basically just finished uh, over there here. That's just that left. It's probably an item down here. Oh, I don't like this girl. She just wants to show her Pokemon up. Mind you, it's a new fairy type. I need to find it. No dead. Well, I know they're fainted, but I say dead. Don't know why. Here he's right. Honestly, I am all about attack to start changing moves. I tend not to teach unless it's something like school bash. I know Blastoise lends School Bash, which raises defense, but then it attacks. So I'll use that. Uh, Flame Charge, which raises speed. You know, move that to the feet. That's what I meant by you need Surf to continue on this route. Up here, nothing of interest, just the gates of Victory Road, which we really don't need to use right now. And I'll take a shortcut again. Anyway, that was Route 22 done, Deterring Away. Next up is continuing on down here, but I advise you one more time, make sure all your Pokemon are the same level. If you don't, it's not that big a deal, but it will help. Anyway, seeing as I haven't done them yet, I shall do my shoutouts now. My shout outs go to J Wits, College Humor, Game Theorist, Cinema Sins, Starshine Gamers, National Debt, and here's a new one PewDiePie, Pie, all one word. He turns to go PewDiePie. I've been watching his South Park Stick of Truth gameplay. It is quite cool actually. I must say there are some really weird levels. Part 9. I'm not going to reveal anything. But part 9 is called Most Fucked Up Part. So I bet you can see why. And part. I'm not sure. 11 or 12. This is called Abortion Inside a Gay Man's Asshole. And there's some pretty weird stuff in there. Ew. Anyway, that is time. I will go off camera, get all my Pokemon to the same level, and I will see you next week. I cannot do another one on Thursday. I have my aunt coming over. She'll probably be in the house. So, goodbye from Pokemon.